All right, Gerald, hopefully we can get you in here. Last caller. Feels good to not have to cancel anybody and get through everyone. We'll get him joined up on Zoom. A lot of people asking similar questions about how to witness and evangelize. So guys, make sure you go watch the video I have about that. Wow, Gerald. Good Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> good. Where are you calling in from? I'm uh, I'm Gerald. I'm calling in from the Philippines. Hey, yes. I love the Philippines. Awesome. Thanks for calling in, brother. Yes. Uh, I've got this question. Uh, I've seen the pastors and prophets in YouTube that uh, this question has been with me for a while now. And uh, my question is, is it safe for us to consent or accept the doctrine of a book that is not in the current canonized version of the Bible, like the book of Enoch? Uh, as far as taking what it says as doctrine or canon, are you saying? Yeah, yeah, the final list. Is it safe? But it's not in the final list of the Bible, right? But yeah, no, I wouldn't. Preachers... I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. Ah, okay, I wouldn't okay. take it as canon or as scripture. It's not inspired. Okay. It's not included in the 66 books. I would only okay. take the 66 books as authority, as God's word, as uh, canon. There's a reason why the Book of Enoch isn't in there. There's also fake versions of the Book of Enoch. So if you go to Google, you could find a bunch of fake versions you might think are real. So mm. the way I would treat Enoch, I've read some of it. I haven't done a complete video on it or read it through. I've been saying for years I will. I will at some point is a historical document, but I would not take it as canon or scripture or quote it okay. as such. Some do, but yeah, I wouldn't take it as, as canon. Just because the Bible references it doesn't mean that it's, you know, canon. Yeah, so 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 uh, my next question, uh, is, it's related to it also. Should I uh, f still follow the preachers that, that consent to the doctrine of the book of Enoch? I don't know. It depends because if they're teaching the doctrine of Enoch, then there's probably yeah. a bunch of other weird doctrines that they're teaching. I'm very leery of guys that teach things that number one, aren't in scripture. Number two, are yeah. other, like, why do we need the book of Enoch if we have 66 books in the Bible? Every, everything yeah, yeah. we need is canonized. Everything we need is in the word of God. So guys that start going outside the bounds of scripture into other books and other doctrines, you're getting very close to, to creating some really false stuff. And if I go, okay, that guy's teaching out of Enoch, what else is he inspired by? What else is he teaching on? So I would mm. be very leery of following teachers that, get revelations from, you know, Gabriel showed up to me, Michael showed up to me, so-and-so mm. whispered this new doctrine. Oh, that's, li I'm leery of that. I'm leery of all of these teachings, yeah. especially if they're starting to canonize Enoch when it's not, if it's not in canon, that's completely unorthodox. Uh, I know Catholics have a lot of other books and a lot of yeah. other things they do. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't follow a Catholic teacher. Like if there's someone that's a Catholic teaching and you're like, well, some of the teachings are good. I just wouldn't follow that teacher because there's so many false teachings in the Catholic church. And they do talk a lot about Enoch as well and the Maccabees and other doctrines. I would just be leery of listening to them. There's tons of good mm -hmm. Christian teachers that teach solid theology that I would probably cut them out of my playlist if I was you. Oh, okay. Okay. That was really helpful and insightful. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you so much for calling, Gerald. Hopefully someday yeah. I can get out to the Philippines and meet you. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait for that. <laughs> All right, <laughs> man. Have forward. a good night. Yeah, thank you Have for calling. Night. God, God bless. bless you, brother.